Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So today we're going to be planting the orchard, but it would be nice to also buy the cow farm. But we can't really do both just because the price of the cow farm is about £120,000 I think. Uh, and yeah, well the orchard isn't going to be cheap either. But I read your comments and suggestions from the previous episode and I've come to the conclusion that this field here is the best one for the for the orchard, for those trees, and the grass field which we purchased in the previous episode is going to be just for grass. Yeah, we'll keep it for hay, silage, simply using grass cut off it, and also we might put some trees on there. We may also eventually plough it up and put a, a crop in, but um, yeah, seems a good idea to keep it as it is. It's a nice open space. So we are going to be using these bells one day for the cows. Um, yes, there's not really anywhere to put them, which is unfortunate. We'll just put them here for now. I don't really want to make a habit of keeping them outside though. And I've just checked the price again for the cow farm and it is 142,000. So we'll be much better off making a ton of money this morning from the eggs and then using that money for the orchard so that we can then start making money from the orchard and the eggs and uh, yeah, then we'll soon get to the £142,000 milestone much faster. So, we need the eggmobile. Wow, we have... What's that? Is that a quarter? 20, no, not quite a quarter. Uh, but we have two full ones and one which is a fifth full. Okay, so you know that lag I get? It only happens the first time I get out of a vehicle. Once it's done its bit of lagging for 10 seconds, I don't seem to get it again. At least not too severely. Uh, right, so Eggmobile. There it is. Lurking around the corner. Yes, and it never lags in uh, third person view. So it doesn't actually bother me. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Good job we have diff lock. The mighty Eggmobile. Okay, I'm going to put it over here. That'd be easiest. Yes, the chicken enclosure is at capacity. We probably don't need to buy another enclosure just because we're already making enough money. But we do need to keep up with the production of wheat. We need to keep growing wheat. I think you can also do barley. Uh, but yeah, we do, we have, um, we have wheat growing, so that's fine. Okay, there we go, that's a two. And those can be popped into the trailer first of all. I'll then strap them down with some ratchet straps. And hopefully after that, we'll be able to place the other one on top of these. I know it's asking for trouble, but we will see. Come on, Pally Forks. You can do it. Okay. Slow and steady. Shame we can't ratchet strap them together now. Maybe you can do. You can do with the fruit boxes. But no, I don't think you can do with these. Nice. Well, I overcompensated there, but not to worry. Let me get the other one. Actually, yes. It's not that full, so it can't be that heavy. Let's put it on the roof of the car. Because it does have a strapping point. Let's make it look neat. Presentable. If possible. Oh, again overcompensating okay that's good enough can we strap it yeah we can can't we come on yes brilliant it's like we go on holiday with our egg boxes I'll uh, put a few more over this and then we can go there we go okay just turn the engine off on the load all 
That looks brilliant. Look at that. Now it really is the Eggmobile. It's like we should per permanently strap an egg box to the roof. Prepare yourselves for some substantial income. This should be good. And yes, we are going to be keeping this series going until the release of 22. Uh, there has been a new map released, actually. Uh, but I'm wondering if I can somehow use that in another series, as another style of uh, Let's Play. Because I really like the way the series is going. Okay, there we go. 25,000 pretty much from one crate. And then we have the one on the roof, which is probably a bit too high. Let's just try and get that one off. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> uh, before they could break, they were sold. So we now have 140,000 pounds. We are just a few thousand pounds short of being able to afford the cow farm. But of course, we don't want to spend all of our money. We don't want an empty bank account. So yeah, as I said, we're better off creating the orchard, getting that underway, and then when we have the next boxes of eggs, probably in an episode or two, we will be able to uh, buy the cow farm. So the other thing, of course, is the uh, the horse. We are going to be buying the horse, but not today. Yes, I need to make sure that we have the food ready. But thank you to everybody who voted. I haven't actually looked at the vote since I created it, so I will go and have a look now and see which one uh, won, which name won. Uh, I did actually put in there a risky vote. It was the uh, one where you could choose the default horse name. Well, it's not that risky, but obviously you don't know what it's going to be. So you're pretty much voting for a name you have no idea about. But I doubt that one. I'll be interested to see. I'll park this just around the corner again. Just over here. Right then. So I've taken a look at the vote. And the winning vote was Jacob. Which does not surprise me. It's a very clever one. I do like it. First letter J. Middle letter C. Last letter B. JCB. Uh, the crop's looking good. Second place was Ursius. That's yeah, not a bad name. And third place was the default name. So yeah, Jacob it is, whenever we buy it. So I am just going to cultivate the field. I think it would look better if it was all grassy. Now I know we could actually use terrain editing to do this. We could just texture it. Um, and that is fine because it will probably still charge us for it. But I would just feel that's a bit of a shortcut still. It's just too fast. <laughs> You're suddenly converting stubble back to grass. Let's just seed it. It's nothing of an area. I'll do it as a time lapse, so we'll do this really quickly, and then we can start putting in some fruit trees. After that, I need to get water and also manure, and I have enabled the mod to buy manure from a buy point. I don't think there is a buy point for manure on this map. Some maps have it integrated in, um, uh, but I might be wrong. I am wrong on a number of occasions. probably could still mow the grass and then use it for something. Depends how random I place the trees. Uh, it would look better if they were more random. I don't particularly want a nice straight line. Well, I say nice. <laughs> That's probably the wrong word to use. I don't particularly want a straight line. Because it can look a bit 
Not artificial, but you know, commercial maybe. I do like natural. Natural looks good. Uh, also, I noticed the big pile of rubble is still here. I haven't actually removed it. Uh, if you could remove it with a bucket and a trailer, I would do. But since you can't do it, I think we should just delete it. So if we press H, there we go. We've hidden it. Uh, that looks good. Much neater. Oh, we have some logs to sell. Very nice. Uh, so, yeah, we need to do some more yard improvements eventually. But for now, let's just focus on this field here. So that grass will grow over the next few days. Uh, if we go into the uh, placeables, fruit trees, 400 pounds a tree has four different crop types. So, like when you have an orchard, you tend to think of apples so um, we'll put one there or maybe we should just do apples or uh, the only issue with that actually is it will take longer to sell them it's better to have lots of different crop types so we'll have apples at the back and then we'll have cherry there I'll put a cherry over here a plum tree over here Plum tree over here. <laughs> and finally, the pear trees. It's getting pretty dense, isn't it? So, as it turns out, they do look kind of uniform. Doesn't look that random. Um, you probably could still come into here though with a small baler or a little loading wagon. But that's not bad. And that hasn't actually cost too much money. It will look loads better when the grass has grown. Very nice. Okay, so I think water first of all. Uh, we do have a bigger water tanker now, but it's much older than the one which we used to have. And I've probably left it over at the horses. Yes, I have. So I'll see you over there. And then we'll bring it back and uh, start giving all of the trees plenty of water so that they can thrive looks like the horses might have run out too there we go top it up uh, we also need to go and get some crates to put the fruit into and then finally we'll have to sort out the manure probably best buying that in a big trailer it's really uh, bumpy over there I think actually this tractor might benefit from having a front weight I do have a front weight over at the chicken farm See if that's any better. Hopefully it is. It does seem pretty unstable. But then again, 8,300 litres of water. That is going to be quite heavy. Okay, so uh, which side? Which side? There we go. Probably any side. So let's just do this first of all. 25% per tree too bad. Okay, so we have eight empty boxes here, costing £90 each. They're quite expensive, but I guess we are buying them new. Get a few straps over. There we go. And we'll drop one off at every tree. I did attempt to use the forklift, and it does work. It works fine. Uh, but the way I had it was essentially three high. I had them stacked three high. And with these pallets, it doesn't seem to pick them up if you have them three high. They sort of go inside each other, so yeah, I just pick them up by hand. 
one at a time. It's the easiest way. I will need to sell the fruit from these trees as well. I think they've probably stopped producing fruit because they've run out of manure. So when we do the manure, we can get that going. But I'm very amazed by how little money we've spent. We still have £140,000. So we can still buy the cow farm next time. But yeah, as I said, this scale looks so much better when the grass grows. It looks a bit unnatural at the moment. So there we go. One for that one. One for this one. It, there's probably an ideal side, uh, but just as long as it's in range, it's fine. Probably best on this side, actually, because that's not where we're going to be driving. Let's just hope it will uh, fill the boxes up. Okay. Come on. You go there. And the other good thing is it doesn't th these trees don't seem to consume water that quickly. So it's not like this constant job that has to be done. Oh no, flying. Hello box. Yes, you go there. And it looks like I've added a ratchet strap to that one. Ah, it's too close. Uh so yeah, um manure. That is all we have to do now. So nice and simple, I have placed the uh, manure by point next to the farm shop, which, after thinking about it for a few seconds, seems like a bit of a strange thing to do. The customers turn up to get their delicious fruit, and then they get gassed out by a load of dung. But no, uh, <laughs> we'll just have to say the manure is quite well rotted, and it doesn't really have a scent. Which is pretty true, actually. Uh, when it's nicely rotted, you can't really smell it. So, here we go. Let's get this trailer filled up. Uh, but it's not free, we do have to buy it. There we go, you can see the money is going down. That is filling up. And it's all nice and simple. So we leave it to fill. And there we go. Yeah, it's not expensive, so maybe... Well, getting cows just for getting manure is a silly idea. We'd have to be getting the cows with the intention of making money out of the mill. Like substantial money, not just breaking even. I'm hoping we can just reverse up to each tree and tip the required amount. We'll do the driveway first. Uh, I seem to remember they do take quite a bit of manure. So we might have to do two loads. That's 11%. As soon as we've got all the trees sorted, we'll have fruit coming out of our ears. But then, that means we're going to have money coming out of our ears. I think we really have succeeded with this series, it's been great. But, it's been running for some time. Okay, so that is the driveway done. And yeah, I would love to add the fast track. You know that older fast track from the classic pack? I just worry might be considered too new by some. Uh, I don't know. Well, if, if you uh, think it's too new for this series, please do let me know. I actually don't know how old it is. 90s at some point, but yeah, uh, 90s isn't really considered vintage. This is going well, but this might be the final tree. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more. I like that you can actually see the manure. Okay, we have 1% left, so let's just dump that here. And we'll go back for load number two, the final load. £435 per trailer. Not bad. We make quite a bit from the fruit. So just these ones on this side, and then we're done. The orchard can be left until the crates are full. I think that'll be the first thing we have to do. Sell the fruit. Uh, we'll have to bring some replacement crates though, because we probably won't be able to fit it all into the farm shop.
but I'm very pleased that we have an orchard now. Okay, so I think there's the tree in the middle and the tree here. And then we are done. Brilliant. Okay, right. We'll take this out here. Can't wait for the grass to grow. I think the grass is uh, pretty fast. Well, it puts that sort of green texture down first before you see foliage. So if I was just to increase the rate of time by a few minutes, let's just see. It should go green, hopefully. Oh, providing crop growth is on. It is. Let's just see what that does. Okay. Maybe a little bit longer then. By the morning, we should have a green covering. Here is an aerial view of our lovely orchard. And I think that's really utilizing the land quite well. It's good use of land. Much better than putting it in the other field, which we'll be working in next time. But as for this time, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.